Hey guys, so tonight we're gonna be doing a really simple dinner. So I figured I might as well show it because it's one of our favorites. It is Philly cheesesteak quesadillas made with ground beef. Um, so your first ingredient, I'm gonna flip you around here, um, would obviously be some kind of burrito or some kind of tortilla, whatever you prefer. Um, your cheese, we prefer uh, Monterey Jack. And I'm gonna grate this up. Um, I've got some frozen fr uh, from our garden, green bell peppers and some red bell peppers mixed in there. I also usually add onion and we only have purple onions left. Um, the one sweet onion we had was, um, had went bad, so. Um, I've also got some ground beef here in the microwave that we had previously cooked. It's all ready and I'm just going to throw it in this pan right here. Um, so I just cooked this the other day. Um, I got a good deal on some uh, hamburger meat and I mixed it in with our um, grass fed beef because it's, it's super lean so um, I just mixed it in and cooked a bunch of it together. Um, you can't, I mean it was pretty much free like if you spent $30 you got this big pack of meat for like three dollars so um i'm just i'm gonna defrost these in the microwave and then um i'm gonna i may chop them up a little bit and i'm gonna put them in this pan mix them with the ground beef uh throw some salt and pepper in there i'll talk you through that so i'm gonna go ahead and get this going right now while i'm waiting on that i'm gonna go ahead and get my cheese grated um, it'll probably take this whole block, or most of it at least. We like them cheesy. And you can use shredded cheese or um, pre-shredded cheese or whatever kind of cheese you want. Um, we just really fell in love with Monterey Jack recently. So, <clears throat> the good stuff. But this, this recipe is seriously, it's so easy. Um, especially like when you, we, not proud of it, but we eat a whole lot of ground beef because obviously we have cows and, um, coming up with recipes that you can use without eating the same old thing like spaghetti and stroganoff and, um, the stuff those are staples that we love, it's still good to have some extra um, super easy recipes that are kind of snacky. We like these. They, uh, we were trying to think of something to go with our spinach dip and everybody's kind of been snacking today anyway. Um, we've been cleaning up, getting ready to have a yard sale. I got my fall decorations out. Um, so it's kind of been just a fun Saturday, so. And it's pretty late. It's like almost 8 o'clock now. It's almost ball game time. Okay, so I went ahead and shredded it all. And I just took the peppers straight out of the microwave, drained them, and uh, just went ahead and put them in my Ninja to chop them up finely so that they mix well with the meat. And that saves me a whole lot of time. Okay, some things I'm going to add in mine. I think I'm going to go ahead and add some onion powder and minced onion. Again, if I had a real onion, I would just chop one up and go ahead and put in here. But since I do not... I'm just going to go ahead and use what I got. Just a little bit. Uh, salt and pepper. There's a lot of peppers in here. So uh, I have to have a salt. And then I think I'm just going to put just a little bit of minced garlic. That smells so good. See, 
how easy this is. And it would feed so many people. I guarantee you we'll, we will have leftovers. Because it doesn't take a whole lot on a... There's some butter. If you want to make this a, uh, a full meal, like tonight we're, we're not because, like I said, we're just in a snacking mood. Um, but if you wanted to make it a good meal, a full meal, uh, corn would be a really good um, addition. So I'm just going to add my cheese. These are my husband's, so they're going to be extra cheesy. Okay, so you just add your cheese and then you just spoon a personal preference, however much you want. These are my husband's. So, I have tried to, he likes his very cheesy. I might not put that much cheese on. Uh, you can also serve these with sour cream, tomatoes. Um, I was going to do corn tonight, but we're going to be super full with our spinach dip and these. So you just let them brown. These are not brown yet. But you just let them brown, and then you can flip them. I like to leave them open for a few minutes um, and let some of that cheese melt down. Because if I go to flip them now, then all the cheese is just going to fall all over the place. So here it is guys, super easy, super quick, and super delicious. Um, they're very filling. We still have plenty of filling left, so I know you could feed a large family with just a pound of hamburger meat.